I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about infinite series. In problem number 55, we'd like to find the sum of this series. Sum k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k plus 1 minus 1 over k plus 2. And typically the way that we go about finding things like this uh, if we're finding a sum and we see right off the bat, well this is clearly non-geometric. We could write out a few terms and see this is not a geometric series. So what I want to do is I want to find the nth partial sum and then take the limit of the nth partial sum as n goes to infinity. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, when I say take the nth partial sum, maybe let's write it up here, I'm talking about s sub n and what I'm saying is, what if I added up the first n of these guys? Okay, so what's the first one? So if I plugged in that k is 1, so if k was 1, I'd get 1 over 1 plus 1, or that would be 1 half, minus 1 over 1 plus 2, or minus a third. Plus, then I'd add on when uh, k is 2. If k was 2, I get 1 over 2 plus 1, which is a third, minus 1 over 2 plus 2, which is a fourth. And we would keep on doing that until I got to the nth guy. So the nth one would be 1 over n plus 1, 1 over n plus 1, minus 1 over n plus 2. 1 over n plus 2. Now, what's really cool about this series is this telescopes down. And what I mean by telescoping is it kind of collapses in on itself. Because I have a half and then I have minus a third and plus a third. Minus a third and plus a third, those cancel and they just go away. I also get minus a fourth and the next term would be plus a fourth. Then minus a fifth plus a fifth, minus a sixth plus a sixth, until I get the very last term here would be minus 1 over n plus 1 and 1 over n plus 1. But there's no one to cancel out the minus 1 over n plus 2. So what this s sub n ends up being, it's a half minus 1 over n plus 2. So this is what we call the nth partial sum. Add up the first n of them and see what you get. This is what I get. Now if I want to add up the whole series, then what I do is I say, well, if I want to sum up k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k plus 1 minus 1 over k plus 2, then what I need to do is take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum, or s sub n. Well, now that I know what s sub n is, I can just plug that in, so that's the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum, which is 1 half minus 1 over n plus 2. Take the limit as n goes to infinity, this whole term goes to 0. And so all that's left over is 1 half, and that is the sum of this infinite series.